Pakistan's foreign minister, in meeting with his Russian counterpart, urges diplomatic resolution of Russia-Ukraine conflict. Pakistani Foreign Minister Bilawal Bhutto Zardari has urged a diplomatic solution to the Russia-Ukraine war, adding all conflicts can be resolved peacefully, and that there are no obstacles which diplomacy cannot surmount. He made these remarks during his two-day visit to Russia, coming soon after the conclusion of the eighth session of the Pakistan-Russia Intergovernmental Commission, IGC, in which both sides agreed to address all technical issues to pave the way for import of Russian oil and other petroleum products by March 2023. Since the start of the Russia-Ukraine conflict in February 2022, Pakistan has taken a neutral position, urging both parties to find a peaceful solution to the war. Pakistan abstained from a United Nations General Assembly resolution in March 2022, which demanded immediate withdrawal of Russian troops. Pakistan also did not participate in voting on a UNGA resolution in October 2022, which condemned the Russian annexation of four regions in eastern Ukraine. Pakistan has called Russia-Ukraine war a failure of diplomacy and has said developing countries in the south are bearing the brunt of the economic repercussions of the conflict. According to United Nations Development Program, more than 70 million people have faced economic hardships and poverty since the start of the conflict, with more than 50 million people dropping below poverty line in the first three months. Moreover, food inflation and rising energy prices have hit the vulnerable segments of population the hardest, with poor people spending an estimated two-thirds of their income on food, leaving little behind on other services like health, education, and housing. According to World Bank, 70% of population lives in middle-income economies, while South Asia accounts for more than 20% of world's extreme poor. These regions and people are disproportionately vulnerable due to their fragile economic base and dependence on oil and wheat imports from both Russia and Ukraine, two of the biggest exporters of gas and oil and agricultural products. I'm Osama Nizamani, and this was your Daily Dispatch.